Hey there, buddy. Just chilling out there? Oh, you're not a real bird. Soggy Bottom Road. Probably one of my favorite roads I've ever seen. In the town of Hollywood. It's a lot more rural than I thought Hollywood would be. Just kind of like Sunset Boulevard a couple of days ago. It was almost me yesterday. Hey, welcome to the Pat Venture. A big tractor tire just overgrown with trees and shrubbery. Should have never trusted Hollywood. <laughs> Adam the Woo. Is he running things up there? Not being pulled over. Nope, he's just going by me. Scared me. Even the old firehouse restaurant. Can't catch a bone. <laughs> Think this was actually an old firehouse? I don't see any of the big doors. I thought it was cool enough. But they're closed too. After 14 years of wonderful memories and good times, we have decided to close. I thought this was cool. Look at all the uh, other fire departments they got in there. And the little miniature kid fire truck down there. Even cabinets can't keep in business. Established in 1685. Oh, Willtown Bluffs. Tell it's a small town because these aren't even paved roads. This is packed sand. Packed sand! In the time before the United States was free from British reign, during the Revolutionary War, the city of Jacksonboro was actually the state capital of South Carolina from 1799 to 1822. They met and passed many a thing, but that's all in the history, baby. History be a bee. <coughs> Have you seen this bird? I don't think I've ever seen a mug shot for a bird. Jacksonboro is not much. Not named after Andrew Jackson, South Carolina's only president. But after John Jackson, just an owner of land. Is it me, or is that stop sign have bullet holes in it? Like huge shotgun shells. I wanna check it out. Yeah, those are bullet holes in both sides. Take a look at that. Bullet holes in a stop sign sign. It's not even a stop sign, it's a sign about a stop sign. Don't crash into my car, guys. I know, I, I did a stellar job of side of the road parking. This one too. <laughs> Looks like a little bit of buckshot. And then who knows? CJ Perkins and Son grocery store. In the middle of nowhere. I wanna say that was his house, right? Just a cinder block shack. Brought the cube in. See if we can get some. Oh, what a cool little place, huh? We're in Rondo. Of course, you got your Bible. Baby, a little, uh, old baby root sign. Wait, this is 1954. Damn. 1954, huh? Been closed a long time. 
52. Three cent stamp. My God. Been closed for 30 years? Yeah. Wow. He died. His father died. That man, he had a lot of property. All that thing. All the way down. Almost to get my mother's house was. Yeah. Was all that really belonged to him. Oh, cool. And he died and the children didn't take care. They gone. Going to New York. Everybody go to New York. Oh yeah? They go to New York. I come from New York, right? There's a lot of people from coming from New York. I, I see a lot buying, more buying property. I see a lot more license New York license plates than I thought I would. I thought it was some sort of cop beeping at me like, hey, get away from here, buddies. He said he's going to feed his mother's chickens. February 21st, 1950. Damn. You never know what'll happen in the middle of nowhere. Round zero. Hey, Strictly! <laughs> Town of Cottageville. The Ville of said cottage. Maybe a cottage where Strickland lays his weary head at night. The same people that make RC Cola also have a service station. A cherry wine sign there, too. Ooh, ooh, and a bench. Oh my god, this place is epic. Look at that. I did not expect that. That old antique ranch. God damn, this place is a. Awesome little spot, huh? Looks like he's won a couple of awards. Oh, look at those old coke cans and stuff on the... I don't know if you can see them. Can you see the old coke cans on the shelf next to the trophies? See the Napa cap? Must have fell off a car. Just the amount of antique stuff is in there. I really want to check this place out when it's open. We're not here for that. We're here for this meter I saw on the side of the road. Look at it. <laughs> it's just a mock look of a mock mock up of a uh, cars. I was wondering where he got off to, knocking down all those goats from the other day. Starts off with sheep in his 2006 premiere of cars. Now he's moved on to goats. At the, uh, the RC service station in Cottageville, South Carolina. Done up nice and proper. Oh yeah? Windows have seen better days. What year you put on this thing? 40s? Check out the gas pump too. Old classic look. Come on, Bennett! Check this one too. You got a Fab, Sprite, Fresca, Fanta, all in the old logo looks. This was an old theater at one point. They can see the marquee line where the big marquee used to hang over. Those two things used to hold it up. It says variety, I'm not sure why. Maybe it showed a variety of films. You can see the super old esqueness. I think all theaters had this like Aztec look. How they all bricked out. Then taken over by pawn shops. You can vaguely see the etching of a pawn shop on that window. I don't know if it comes over. It says Casey's Pawn Shop. Looks like he sold a uh, Appliances and such. And mattresses and chairs, but all abandoned now. 
self cleaning ovens. Wow. See the old foggy tile. Love to see those. Yeah. You can really get a look in at what it used to be. That's where you see the best things in the middle of nowhere, where you just get lost, follow a road, see where it takes you. Anyways, make sure to make cows faint and uh, drink cherry wine, and I'll see you tomorrow.